If you've used Speedtree in the past 18 years, you probably know that the product has undergone some dramatic changes as it's grown to meet the challenges of modern VFX and real-time productions. Speedtree was created in response to a deceptively simple problem. Organic shapes, like trees, require both repetition and unique features, making them tedious and time-consuming to create. With Speedtree, our goal is to give artists the tools that allow them to create more intuitively so they can focus on the abstraction that's required when creating vegetation. With the release of Speedtree 8, one of our primary goals was to bring PBR material standards into Speedtree, along with non-destructive editing tools, to streamline the creation of barks, leaves, and other textures. These updates allowed basic look dev to happen inside of the Speedtree modeler, so artists could achieve more accurate results in the final DCC. Incorporating PBR and revamping our geometry nodes was an important step in preparing for the introduction of photogrammetry tools. In this presentation, we're excited to share a first look at the evolution of these tools in Speedtree 9. The current Speedtree modeler includes a tool that can blend between a photogrammetry mesh and a procedural canopy. By generating either a texture band or a UV blend region, it's pretty simple to take a single mesh trunk and produce multiple variations very quickly, or match a real-life example of a tree. However, there are still significant challenges in preparing the mesh to work more efficiently with the Speedtree tool and in creating lower poly count geometry for LODs or more efficient meshes. In Speedtree 9, we're introducing a new generator called a conversion tool. It's essentially a mesh capture tool that allows you to place and steal features and textures from an imported photogrammetry mesh. The end result is a new way to handle photogrammetry meshes that's not only easier to use inside Speedtree, but it also streamlines geometry optimization and material creation pipelines. So what exactly can the conversion tool do? Let's take a look. To start, it's a texture creation tool. After aligning an easy click gizmo on a trunk section, you can create tiling barks with the push of a button. This tool lets you pinpoint texture areas you want to use in multiple variations, and it lets you keep all the details that give your trees life. In Speedtree 9, adjusting the range and blend of the transition area is quick and easy. Next up, the conversion tool lets you take a mesh that you created with a different tool and convert it into a fully procedural Speedtree generator. This allows you to retain the detail and textures of the imported model, but gives you the flexibility of our procedural tools. This is our approach to several challenges that currently slow down photogrammetry workflows. For example, during the optimization of the mesh, finding a balance between detail and performance can require numerous iterations, often on multiple LODs, before you can even bring the mesh into Speedtree and start building your model. This model is then often repeated, meaning that the features that made your tree so distinct end up causing the scene to look repetitive. The easiest way to address this issue is to convert the mesh, or a portion of it, into a speed tree generator, instantly creating clean, even geometry and UV maps. Conversion lets you keep all the trunk detail by exporting a height map based on the original. This means that all those delightful knobs and knots you captured are now able to be optimized, even across multiple LODs. Lastly, this tool instantly sets up a photogrammetry trunk extension and stitch. Use the new Convert and Place button for workflows where you need to keep the photogrammetry mesh in your scene. Perhaps you have a lot of great trunk detail, a cool intersection, or some giant gnarly roots that you really want to preserve. With this workflow, you set up the conversion area and blends, and Speedtree will attach a stitch and an extension with a tileable texture. The last thing we want to show you are the freehand tools. Our focus in V9 is to introduce a suite of tools that bring new life and art styles to your procedural creations. Freehand is about fast editing and tree wrangling, and these tools are perfect for adding bumps, fine tuning, and fixing vertices. Let's go through each tool. Vertex editing allows you to bypass other DCC apps when iterating, making mesh corrections, or making a minor vertex change. Bending is our new grab and go tool for fine tuning and shaping branches. The controls let you select a spine and push, pull, and twist it without having to edit spine nodes or switch to hand drawing. Click Place lets you add a branch exactly where you need it. You can fine tune upper canopy components and then reposition or clone them with the click of a mouse. Hand drawing is a popular option for lots of our artists, and that's been incorporated into the new freehand mode of the modeler. Hand drawing allows you to draw specific paths by simply tapping the spacebar. 
Paint Displacement lets you sculpt or carve features into your tree. With this tool, you can easily create knots or paint cavities on your model while maintaining the ability to optimize procedurally. Displacement's partner in crime is the Paint Vertices tool, which is used to highlight details by adding vertices exactly where you need them. Want to add a detailed groove or a stylized blemish? Just paint vertices onto the area and then use Paint Displacement to sculpt it. Vertex Colors, the last tool in the set, is primarily for game artists, but can be useful in certain VFX applications. Use it to paint vertex colors by hand for precision effects and custom wind options. We're excited to share more about Speedtree 9 and other changes to our suite of tools in the future, but that's all we have for today. If you're currently using Speedtree, you want to know more information or schedule a demo for your team, don't hesitate to reach out to us at our virtual booth or our help desk, support at speedtree.com. All of us here at Speedtree really miss meeting with artists and engineers at SIGGRAPH, and we're looking forward to resuming studio visits and getting back to trade shows as soon as it's safe to do so. In the meantime, stay safe, let us know how we can help, and have a great rest of the show.